what's going on youtube so today i got an unboxing for you i'm reviewing probably my most favorite gun that i own i got a lot of handguns but my favorite favorite type of gun i love 1911s guys 1911s are such beautiful guns they're made to last they're made out of stainless steel i mean these things <laughs> It, it, it was in the war, it won us a war. The look of it, the reliability, the durability, you can never go wrong with a 1911. Um, there's plenty of brands out there, Springfield, Sig, uh, Colt. It was the original one that was making 1911s. Now you got Kimber. Kimber is a really good brand. I love their 1911s. I don't really buy anything else of theirs. I literally just buy 1911s from them. I own some, a couple of them, but this one by far is my favorite one. Not just only the way it looks, the way it shoots, everything. And it's a 10 millimeter. I know a lot of people, they've been wanting 1911s and 10 millimeter. Well, Kimber came, I think with the baddest 1911 and 10 millimeter. So this is my unboxing on it. It comes with the Kimber hard case. You better believe it's gonna come in a hard case. This is an expensive gun. I don't like when gun companies, they sell you a gun in a cardboard box or even a soft pouch. Like if, if I'm paying a lot of money, you, you, you gotta give me something. So it comes with this hard case and inside, boom the baby Kimber repeat 1911 this is called the Scorpius they have many um repeats they have a repeat Don I have the video of the repeat Don the one with the gold barrel it's on my channel you can see that but this is the Scorpius here that has this nice nice stainless steel finish so let's talk about this slide here. Really good slide serrations. Let's make sure we're safe. Got nothing in the mag. Oh, take the safety off. Sorry. Nothing in the chamber. All right. So no one thinks it's being unsafe. Check out these slide ports. Got slide ports. Should help mitigate the recoil slide serrations. Got your serrations back here. Your Kimber logo. Got safety. You got this skeletonized hammer. So. black barrel I like their barrels I have the gold barrel on the Dawn it's not those barrels that when you know from cocking back that the paint chips or comes off the paint does well I know people ask me about the gold one if the paint chips it doesn't chip um, so you know you're getting good quality like I said skeletonized hammer and a skeletonized trigger you see, it's your typical 1911, the pool. Nice short little pool. Anyway, I think I gotta oil the gun, it's a little dry. Right. Beautiful. Check out the sights. Got the nice little U notch in the back. Check the sides out. We got some ports here up on the top of the slide as well. And these grips. I love these grips. They're aggressive, not overly aggressive where it's peeling your skin, but it's aggressive. It looks nice. You got nice grips everywhere. Got your, got your safeties here as well. Grip safety. All 1911s have this. Got this groove here for your thumb. 
a mag release. I want to see. Mag drops with no issues. Look at that. Black trigger guard. And like I said, this is a 10 millimeter. Um, it, 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 this carries 10 round capacity. This is my other complaint. It only comes with one magazine. 1911 mags are usually 30, 40 bucks. I paid about $1,600 for this firearm. So to be honest with you, um, to only get one mag, come on, Kimber, you guys should at least give me two. If, to make it real nice, three, because to be paying 40 bucks per mag, the money adds up. Comes with a Kimber lock. Okay, you got your foam here. And you got all your, your paperwork. Got a little tool here. Instruction manual. Starts to tell you about all their other stuff. And I like this. At least they gave me this. Some free CLP. So nothing crazy. It doesn't rust. I've had this gun already for a while. Now, how does it shoot? It shoots super flat, super smooth, especially for a 10 millimeter. It feels like I'm shooting a nine millimeter because of the, uh, the steel frame. So I don't have no issues with the recoil whatsoever. Um, I'm sure if I was shooting through a polymer frame, I would have felt it, but this is what I got guys. There's not a whole lot to say other than this. This gun is beautiful. Uh, it's not just for looks, it shoots great. Um, I, I will say this though, um, when you're going to take it to the range, make sure that you really oil it really well, not just basic oiling because some gu guns should shoot technically the way it came. Cause you know, the manufacturer oils it, this one, you really have to oil it up a lot. Like it got, it's gotta be greasy. <laughs> you gotta have it. Well, I, when I went, I put a little bit of oil and didn't shoot right away because it was just rough just a little rough you have to break this gun in like if you notice the, the, the slide's a little stiff so you got to really grease this gun up and really break it in but once you do i mean keep it always oiled this gun does not like being basic oil you gotta really oil this thing up oil it up good and you'll have no issue Wilson Combat Mags, um, any 1911 mag should work with this gun. Uh, but like I said, make sure it's really, really oiled up. All right. Yep, so it's a gun definitely I recommend. It's, it's nice on the eyes, shoots good. And that's all I got for you guys today. Like and subscribe for more videos. I'll be doing more uh, of my 1911 collection, so be on the lookout for those. All right, all right guys. Mm -hmm.